with over a dozen videos on our channel showing you some of the most useful Chrome extensions, it's time for a roundup of our favorites. So in this top 10, we'll show you the absolute best Chrome extensions in several categories, including the ad blocker we like the most, all of which can be used with Google Chrome and other Chromium-based browsers like Microsoft Edge, Vivaldi, Opera, and the Brave browser. Let's get started. Dark Reader is an awesome open source extension that enables a dark theme, inverting the colors on the websites you visit, making them easier to read, especially at night. While some browsers and websites do have a built-in dark mode, nothing tops using this extension. For example, when you're on a website with a lot of white space, selecting the Dark Reader icon gives you the option to turn it on or off for each individual site. Let's turn it on. As you can see with the bright colors inverted, it's easier to look at without blinding your eyes. If you need more control, there are filters below to switch the mode. Their light mode will be less bright than the typical website with Dark Reader turned off. Let's switch it back to dark. You can also adjust the brightness, contrast, sepia, and grayscale. Dark Reader, like most in this video, is free. If you end up liking this extension, there's a handy donate button here to contribute to the developer. If you're familiar with the DuckDuckGo search engine that doesn't track your activity, their Privacy Essentials extension is also quite useful. It blocks trackers that follow you online, keeping your personal information from being exposed when visiting websites, and will change your browser's default search engine to DuckDuckGo. On any website, when you click the Privacy Essentials icon, you'll see a privacy grade for that site. With the enhancements forced by this extension, the site's grade has been upgraded from a C plus to a B. Below that, it'll show you that the connection is encrypted and the number of trackers being blocked. Yes, even this company that touts privacy in their marketing is tracking you. I know it's shocking, isn't it? And if you're feeling adventurous living the crazy life, you can even turn off protection for individual sites. If you use Wikipedia, Wikiwand is an award-winning extension that optimizes Wikipedia's content, giving you a much improved reading experience. It has a cleaner layout, a modern typography, and its fixed table of contents makes it easier to find what you're looking for. We'll use the celebrity as an example who's perhaps more well known for Rickrolling than his actual music. Normally when you go to Wikipedia, you get this outdated look, and because the content is not laid out well, it can sometimes be difficult finding the information that you're looking for. After installing the Wikiwand extension, all Wikipedia pages will automatically load with the new layout and look. As you can see, the layout is a lot cleaner looking with the fixed table of contents here on the left. This makes it a lot quicker and easier to navigate the page. Let's go back to the top. When you click the settings icon here in the upper right, you can change the font used, switch between a light and dark mode, the size of the text, and the width of the layout. Keepa is a useful extension we mentioned recently in another one of our videos. If you shop on Amazon, it lets you take a look at the price history charts to make sure that you're getting the best deal. And it also lets you set up alerts to notify you if the price ever drops. Once Keepa is installed, when on a product page on Amazon, scroll down below the description to see the price history chart. In this example for this TV, the price has bounced around quite a bit. At its peak, the price is around 2,700, and at its low right now, it's selling for around 2,200. You can add or remove filters to the graph here on the right by clicking on them. If you'd like to get alerts from Keepa if or when the price drops, select the Track Product tab to the right of Price History. Then enter in the desired price in one of the fields, or after clicking the field, select the price showing the discount in the window that you want. Let's go with 10%. Click outside the window to close it. Click the drop down to select how long you want this item to be tracked. Let's go with six months. Then after that, click on Start Tracking. Mercury Reader is great for those Chromium-based browsers that have yet to add a reader mode. I'm looking at you, Chrome. This extension cleans up a web page, removing all the clutter, making an article easier to read with less distractions. When looking at an article to activate Mercury Reader, click their icon to the right of the address bar. As you can see, with the clutter removed, this article is more readable than before. In the upper right of the article, when you click the settings icon, you can change the size of the text to either small, medium, or large. Your choices for typography are serif and sans, and you can choose between a light or a dark theme. For those of you that own a Kindle device, there's a button to send that article to your Kindle if you want. 
Moving on, you've all seen those cookie warning banners that pop up on websites asking you to accept before using their site. This all came about due to European Union data regulations four years back that have not had the intended effect, except just to annoy us. The I don't care about cookies extension will remove those warning banners that pop up on almost all websites, though you don't ever have to see them again. Just install the extension and forget about it. There's nothing more that you need to do. Grammarly is a fantastic extension that will help to eliminate spelling and other writing errors. It's better than just using those built into other services and can be used on most sites where you write on the web, including Google Docs, Gmail, Twitter, and Facebook. It's so easy to use, a caveman could use it. Just look for the errors underlined in red, then hover your cursor over those errors to see the suggested fixes to correct those issues. Click the corrected text in green to fix the problem. Awesome Screenshot and Screen Recorder is another one recently featured on our channel. It's great for browsers like Chrome that lack a proper screenshot tool with the ability to record both audio and video within your browser. To take a screenshot of any web page, click their icon to the right of the address bar. Make sure the Capture tab is selected. You have three choices, Visible Part, Full Page, and Selected Area. Make your selection. I'll go with Visible Part. They do have a pro version available with additional features. For free, you can crop your image. There's a pen tool to mark it up, a highlighter, and others. To the right, there's a button to copy it to your clipboard and paste it wherever you want it. And when you click on Done, you also have the option to save it to your computer as an image or a PDF, print it out, or share it with others. In addition, if you plan to record your screen, after selecting their icon, select the Record tab. Choose whether you want to save your video to the cloud or locally to your computer. If you plan to use a microphone or camera, you'll need to grant access. And then choose your max resolution. The max for free is HD 720p, and you'll be limited up to five minutes per video. And when you're done with that, click Start Recording. You may have heard that having too many extensions enabled can slow down your browser. This is especially true if you have a computer with low system specs. Extensity makes it quicker and easier to enable the extensions you need and to disable the ones you don't need at that moment. To enable or disable any extension, select the Extensity icon. This will list all the extensions you have installed. You'll notice that those that are not enabled are grayed out. To disable any extension, simply click on one that's active. And to enable any extension that is disabled, click on it to activate it. If you have a lot of extensions installed, Extensity is a must-have that will save you a lot of time. Without any doubt, if you need an efficient ad blocker to use on overly aggressive websites, uBlock Origin is the absolute best. Not only does it block ads, it also blocks other content to help improve the efficiency of the CPU and memory. uBlock Origin is enabled by default and is not paid off like some of its competitors to let ads slip through. If you're on a site you'd like to support and would like to see the ads, click the uBlock Origin icon, then click the power button to allow ads for that site. After doing that, click the refresh icon. On second thought, it's probably best to leave uBlock Origin turned on for this site. Oh, that is so much better. Thanks for watching. Links to all mentioned are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What is your favorite Chrome extension? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring the bell for more top 10s and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Combo.